Good morning everyone, it's Phil the Harness Doctor and in today's video I am extremely excited to share with you some developmental updates to my 2021 Silverado LT 1500 truck. Let's take a look. So if you've been following the channel and you remember the videos on installing these Denali heated and cooled memory seats and having an issue with getting the cooling function to work, Today, I'd like to share with you guys a collaboration between Harness Doctor and WAMS, or White Auto and Media Services. And today we get to introduce in-vehicle custom BCM programming. That's right, in-vehicle custom BCM programming. Well, what does that mean? So if your truck did not come with functions or features like heated and cooled seats, and you wanted to get that to work, part of the wiring for getting that to work also includes needing to get your BCM custom program to enable those features. So go ahead and get the truck started here. And in my truck, since my truck had factory heat, the heat uh, retained that worked like normal. And the issue that we were having was getting the cooling function to work. So with the programming, we now have the cooling functionality working on both seats. We'll take a look at the back here. I installed the heated rear seats. This was also an issue getting this to work, even with the wiring in place. And now we have heated rear seats working. Super excited about that. With in-vehicle custom BCM programming, I'll share with you guys the heads-up display that I added a few weeks ago, or a few days ago, actually. Uh, a few years ago, I did the High Country Cluster upgrade through WAMS and had them program it for heads-up display. A few days ago, I went ahead and swapped out my dash, added the wiring harness for that, and we now have heads-up display. The flickering is just my camera refresh rate, so that's normal. We went ahead and added the rear view camera. Um, this one did not require any programming, just hardware and uh, wire harness for that. But the main thing I was really aiming for here is to get the cooling function to work along with the uh, heated rear seats. My truck came with a factory heated steering wheel, but part of uh, getting a heated steering wheel retrofitted to a truck that doesn't have one does require programming for that along with the possibility of wire harnesses. So. Heated steering wheel, if you're looking to do that, that's gonna be uh, an option now. Uh, my truck did not come with factory fog lights. I went ahead and acted, uh, added the factory fog lights and you can see here the uh, icon is eliminating on the cluster for that. I did mirror task lighting, swapped out my mirrors from the manual fold to power fold with the task lighting on the front side along with the puddle light. These mirrors power fold. both sides just like factory i also have key fob fold with those mirrors we did the memory retrofit seats so my memory functionality is working uh, my truck does have front and rear parking sensors so my seat actually vibrates when i get close to uh, an object um, with swapping out the mirrors i went ahead and swapped out this panel with the express uh, up on the passenger side that was a problem. And with the programming, we now have Express Up on the passenger side. That did require some harness change outs on the door panels, uh, the hardware. So the window switch is different. The door panel harness is different. And then again, with the programming, we are now able to get that to work. With the programming, we did have an issue with my tailgate, but we got that corrected now. So my truck came with a power down release tailgate. I'm looking at uh, retrofitting that to a power up or likely a multi pro tailgate. So I think what I have now is a QT5, the power down and up is a QT6. And I think the multi pro is like a QT2 or something like that. So uh, pretty excited about that. We're looking to get that done here soon. Wireless charging. This is working where when your phone's charging, the uh, charging icon indicator shows up on the screen. So 
there you have it. I uh, wanted to share some of these new uh, developmental updates to the truck and the menu service offerings that I'll be able to offer. If you are local to the Dallas and Fort Worth, Texas areas, this is something that I'll be offering soon. Uh, once we have more details, I'll be able to put the, that information on the website for menu offering and pricing. But really excited to be able to finally get this collaboration between Harness Doctor and WAMS. Um, and being able to offer that to you, all of you guys here locally. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Until next time, this is Phil the Harness Doctor. We'll see you in the next one.